mate. Gonna be putting out pipes onto silage ground. Drone shots for ease, hopefully. <laughs> okay, that's the adapter on now. Now to roll out this one. Because it's got the big scissors rolled out, I'll unhitch the pipe and then I'll be... A slurry eventually wore a hole through it and it was just... Doesn't really work. I don't really know. It's never worked since it came, so... Up here. Go straight in the slats there. Back I can get going, so for now it means that we can put the line here and then the line goes in on top of the dung. Driving the drone What's up in the slats, then when it starts letting slurry out the tower, it's better. It's what's in the bottom of the tower, so you put a tractor on either end. Really thick slurry and it's not very easy to spread at all. Uh, it's quite watery at the moment, so that's not going to do too. This field, the hay field, the field up the back there, that field there. All grunt of the 70 30 of the day. No, 70. Just rolled up all these pipes I've got in the back. Uh, gonna be putting out pipes onto silage ground and getting spreading later this afternoon. Uh, this field I'm in the now is actually getting put in barley this year, so that got spread a few weeks ago. So, alright. Gonna get on with it, get some drone shots for ease, hopefully. <laughs> uh, got a lot of slurry to put out. The tower's nearly full and it's about a million gallons worth, so aye. <laughs> what an absolute stonker of a day. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, so getting there now with the rolling out, so. Oh, gonna roll out another fat pipe and then put one long skinny pipe on and then that should spread the whole of this field, this field around 30 acres um, don't know if you can see it but it is a hill <laughs> um, so it shouldn't take well, it would take absolutely ages with a slurry tanker but when you're spreading the umbilical it doesn't take long at all but you crawl along, you just, you are going slow, but if you're going back and forth to fill up a slurry tanker, you can easy take, I don't know, twice as long, I don't know. Never really worked it out to be fair, but it's definitely a lot longer to be doing that. The only bother is to roll up all this pipe after you're finished and moved to another field. But the pipe goes under the road to the farm, and that gets the whole side of the farm, whole top side, and then we attach onto the tower down there and spread the hole at the bottom side of the farm and then elsewhere. We need to get the tanker on. To take it further away or to the fields that aren't set up or easy to get to with this. So that's me dump the hydraulics to the back so that this will just roll out so I could have aimed it a bit better than this but uh, I didn't <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, now I need to go and pull that out of there and attach the next pipe on. I've got an adapter that puts it from the fat pipe down to the skinny pipe. A lot of folk only use skinny pipe. We use the fat stuff to a certain point and then use the skinny stuff because it means we can pump it further. It makes a big difference to get pumping it. Longer distances. Okay, that's the adapter on now. Now to roll out this one. Ground's pretty dry, which is perfect. I use a 7040 to spread because it's got the big 710 tyres on the back, 600s on the front. Plenty of grip. We used to use the TM190 for that reason as well on the umbilical. But we sold it last year to buy this. Do miss the 190 every now and again, but upgrades. So once this is rolled out, I'll unhitch the pipe and then I'll be i way down to get the splash plate and then shortly after that I'll be going. So I've got the splash plate on now. We actually homemade this back plate. Um, the old original one that came out of here. It was too thin and the slurry eventually wore a hole through it and it was jetting out the top. So between one hang and another we've welded up plates and it works fine. Uh, so, splash plate, sluice gate, uh, sluice gate valve here. Doesn't really work. I don't really know. It's never worked since it came, so it's just probably need to have a look in it. But we don't really need it to be honest. Uh, this this spins, and that's what stops the pipe all twisting up, or tries to stop the pipe all twisting up. And this is just so that the pipe follows the tractor better. <clears throat> Our dodo pump here goes straight in the slats there, sucks it out. Pipe over there comes across, goes under the shed, through, under the road, and away out. Dad's away at the moment because the hardy splicer's gobbed on the other side, so he's going to be getting it sorted at the local garage and then when he comes back I can get going so for now I'm just going to do a couple things here I've got three loads of lime coming so I'm going to clear a space against the wall this just means that we can put the lime here and then the lime goes in on top of the dung when we're spreading it with a <coughs> dung spreader and it just gives the fuel to be top up a lime and keeps everything keeps everything right, keeps the soil right, so lime helps. So I'm just gonna shift some stuff with the forklift here. So dad's just fired up the slurry pump and that's me just getting into the tractor because I wasn't sure what was happening. So you can see the pipe inflating. And now I'm waiting on it coming out the back of the tractor here, so get a second. There we go, that's me spreading new Amofsky. Beautiful. It's spreading really, really wide at the moment because it's very high pressured because it's very close to the farm. So that makes a big difference to the amount we can put out per hour. I'm not really entirely sure how much we put out per hour, but we just try and gauge it by eye. So at the moment here, it looks like it's going out a bit too much. As you can see, there's a bit much lying out the back of the tractor. So I speed up a wee bit later on and then that's when uh, I think I'm spreading at the right speed. <laughs> 
Slurry is absolutely essential to the growing of grass. It's free, it's a byproduct, and it comes from the cows. You don't realise just how good it is until you miss a spot with the slurry tanker or the umbilical. You see the grass growing in, and then you're like, what the hell happened there? And it's just a wee skiff of where it missed, you know? And grows in kind of yellow, and then the rest's all thick, like really good grass. So this was me driving down to the end of the field. This was the first kind of half run, if that, not really sure. Probably not that far. Then I have to do a kind of three point turn. Because the pipe's actually that heavy, it'll drag the tractor around. Wouldn't have believed it, like, but as soon as you start turning, the front end just wants to start swinging back straight again because of the weight of the pipe. So you've kind of speed up at the end to turn quicker so there's no too much slurry getting left in the ground. Do a wee turn. I'm not actually spreading right into that bottom corner because it is a bit of a bog. The, there's a drain gub there that goes under the farm. It's been unchoked and has been for a wee while. But we'll get there at some point. Just look how beautiful that tractor is. Oh, 300 horsepower. <laughs> yep, as somebody said, you're never going to hear the end yet. 300 horsepower, absolutely amazing. <laughs> so, it takes a wee while to spread, as I said before, just because of the speed, but it's definitely a lot faster than spreading with a slurry tanker. Because at this point, I would probably have the tanker empty and I would need it to have went back and filled and that would have been one load out. But this will just keep going and going and going. It's brilliant. Whoever invented it is a bloody genius.
So as you can see, quite a long pull, and some of you will be complaining at me driving over the top of the umbilical pipe. I know I technically shouldn't be doing that, but it's okay. Uh, I'm only doing it just to get the initial straight line, rather than making it a bit squint, and just doing a big curve the whole way along the field. It's all right because it's far away from the tractor at this point. The pipe's a little bit softer. It's not going to burst it. However, if it was right in against the tractor, you wouldn't even chance it. it. It would burst. And it is not nice when umbilical pipe bursts. I have seen it. The thing jets sky high. It's unreal. The pressure in it is unbelievable. <laughs> but look at that view. That is just gorgeous. Just a beautiful sunny day in Scotland. One of the rare ones. It's got a haze to it as well. And I'm sitting inside a tractor. I should be sunbathing. I'm kidding. But you know what I mean. I should be outside enjoying the sun, but I'm enjoying the sun. I suppose air conditioned cab, I ideal. <laughs>
because uh, believe it or not, all the thicker stuff floats to the top. Uh, aye, and all the dirt just all floats to the top. Water's at the bottom, got to mix it. Otherwise, just open it, let the water out, then you're left with a really thick slurry and it's not very easy to spread at all. Uh, and you've got to be very careful when you're spreading thick slurry because you can kill the grass. It's called slurry burn. But this stuff is quite watery at the moment, so that's not going to do too too much damage. That's going to be quite good for the soil. Double and apple help it too. So this is us just getting ready for silage. Uh, got all this ground spread up here too. So this field, the hay field field up the back there, that field there, below the farm, that big field there, right round. You can get all this with umbilical. Uh, plenty to spread, save a lot of time doing it like this than using the using the tankers. Not really getting to see the full grunt of the 70 30 today, no 70 40. <laughs> but at least we're having wider wheels, which is not going to make as much mess of the ground as the, the other tractors because they've got narrower wheels. This helps. So the ground's really tender for tankers. I tried a couple of loads yesterday, it was useless. So kind of regretted it a wee bit. So umbilical a day, just get going. So. Hey. Wait for it, wait for it, here I come, here I come. Yep, that's the speed. I'm spreading at four kilometers an hour. That's what it says in the dash. So, Right, that gets a bit lonely. That's why you phone a friend when you're spreading on the umbilical, but they might not be interested in speaking to you because you are just sitting on the umbilical and they'll be busy. But every now and again, you do need to talk. Getting there now, it doesn't feel like you're getting anywhere because of the speed you're doing, but overall, looking pretty good. Doesn't look pretty good out the back window. See when it gets really windy and it starts blowing over the back window, oh, you know about it. <laughs> just annoys you. Just got to clean it after that, so. Aye, uh, thanks for watching if you're still here. Don't forget to leave a wee like. Leave a wee like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Cheers, guys.